Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report for Friday, May 19th, 2017. Happy Friday, everyone. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. We've seen a significant sell off here from recent highs uh, back toward the 53s here, which was uh, a clear target for us to reach should price fail to hold 76 half. Also, a gap fill. And we mentioned before there could even be a little bit more downside here toward the lower edge of the range uh, ahead. However, the next pullback into 76.5 was likely to be defended for a shot at continuing lower. Prices did push back into that area and were rejected by the end of the day. And now prices are seeing a little bit of an inside day right now. So typically speaking, after you see a big day down like we did, there's a tendency to either digest or push back into the range a little bit, but as long as price remains below the mid, overall bears still maintain control, but stops are back above that level. So if there's any attempt to reclaim control of 76 half, halves, bulls would then be able to, to retry highs here. So 76 halves, still the major pivot to watch, uh, even as high as 88.75. Uh, overall, if bears continue to control the 76 half, uh, we could see another double dip of these lows or an attempt to push lower toward the bottom end of the range. Uh, on a longer term scale, this thing has been very, very bullish as we know. So these types of pullbacks have been opportunities for bulls to defend. The last time something like this happened was back here in late March where we had a big sell off here. Price held for several days, double dipped again, and then we tried bouncing. We went sideways. So. You know, we're right back into the middle of that range. That's why it makes it very difficult. The edges are where it's at. And once you get back toward this middle portion here, that's where the HVN is. That's where you could see some chop. Again, the next opportunity would be down here to bring it back up. Or if there was a squeeze above 76 to retry high. So right now, keeping an eye on this as it continues to build out, we'll see how the day progresses. Uh, looking at the intraday time frame, what you'll notice here, is uh, overall we've seen a, a good push higher after the previous session two days ago we had a significant sell-off we had a nice little push heading higher into uh, VWAP yesterday that implied that we would likely see a move into 67 68 uh, 66 67 that was an opportunity for a fade but overall we knew that we could be looking at more strength ahead toward 76 half for a test we got into as high as 70 75s here and are now holding below the 2371 FOMC key level from March 15th. Still have a, a quiet uptrend uh, playing out, so we could see uh, a continuation here. Any failure to hold the previous session's value at around 61 could open up a retest of 53s and perhaps down below. So right now that's kind of the structure to watch short term as we head into the rest of the session. Uh, if we take a look here at crude oil, we'll bring up crude in a higher time frame here. There's the daily chart. Um, one thing with crude here is we talked about how price continues to trend higher and we still had one more target on the books which was 50.20. We just reached that today. Uh, after the move up it was mostly back and forth fade the edges but what I mentioned to the room um, closing above that 49.50 zone would imply a continuation in the 50.20 and perhaps even a little higher. Uh, we started pushing, uh, putting up higher uh, time frame key levels. So we could be looking at more strength into the 52s and as high as 53.81. So we have higher time frame levels above that could be reached ahead based off the volume profile. Uh, 50.40 is going to be one to watch short term. 50.40 is an LVN on the composite profile. Today, the high is 50.39. So our, our traders had 50, 40 as a level to watch short term for a fade. But overall, reaching 50 implies more strength. Pullback still to be defended until proven otherwise and until we see that significant rejection, uh, which could be a little bit higher. So that's the swing look right now, still showing some strength. Um, if we look at the intraday time frame for a moment, 50, 40 is a key level here, uh, which we have marked in Investor RT. And today's high so far, 50.39. We have an upward trend to this uh, to this move so far. Above 50.40 starts to squeeze even higher. We have upside targets to play toward in that event being 50.71, 50.91, and 51.09s. 
Those are the next major upside targets here if this thing progresses through 50-40. Failure, failure to hold that level or get beyond it would suggest a return back to 49.65. So right now, still pushing quietly higher. We could be looking at more strength if 50-40 gives out. Let's take a look here at gold futures. Higher time frame gold here. One thing to always look for, especially after a major move here. So what we saw the previous session we were looking for two days ago, we were looking for any push beyond 1240 to squeeze it up. And after you see a big move like we did here, usually the primary objective is to watch for rejection of that high for a shot at returning price back to the mid of that level that's of that day. That's going to be the upcoming day here. That's what we saw. And once you see that, there's a tendency for bulls to come in and defend, and then you establish some sort of range here. So right now, it's clear that they're basing everything off the previous month's low here. That's a key level to continue to watch. That's around 1245s. If we look at the exact level here, it's 1245.30, 1245.40. So that's the key level right now, short term. Bulls want to keep it bid for a shot at continuing this thing into 1280. Any failure to hold that level rotates this thing back toward 1220. So that's the key level to watch, 1245.40 heading into uh, the rest of the day. Now if we take a look at the NQ right now, the NQ has been quite bullish. Um, very, very clear uptrending behavior and not much of a pullback to speak of. One day pullbacks. Uh, if you can even call them pullbacks, mostly one day holding patterns before continuation. So this significant sell off was huge, but coming back toward a previous uh, LVN here, 5500, that's an LVN, uh, 5600 was a key short term level. Any pullback into that zone with a stacked and sloped environment with the Pimas was likely to be defended at some point. And so right now we're already seeing a little bit of a bounce right back into the mid here, which is about 56.50 that's going to be an area to watch above that level could squeeze back to highs yet again uh, short term we could see uh, a continuation into 5500 if that were to be the case that would be a buy so right now after a move up there's a tendency to find the high find the low and then from there look to fade the edges as this thing builds out with an upward bias so still upward bias as long as price remains above 5500 even as low as to 54.80, any push into that zone would still be a buying opportunity. After you see an impulse move like this and, and a fade back toward the mid, there's a tendency to build out and establish a range. So we could be looking at fade the edges until proven otherwise. On an intraday basis here, again, we're taking a look at that 56.50 level. That's the important level there. Uh, that level right there, overall, short-term bears want to defend it for a rotation back toward 56.22. A rotation in this side opens up a return here. Once or should a squeeze above 56.50 occur, there could be a trap or a continuation. So you got to watch for both cases here. Above 56.50 is the midpoint of the sell-off day. That would open up um, more strength back toward 56.80 and beyond. So key level to watch for the intraday, 56.50 as we head into the rest of the session. All right, that's it for now. Good luck, trade well, and happy Friday.